and it's BKC Arts. And today I'm going to do a vlog because I always wanted to do a vlog, but I never did it before because I was honestly too lazy. And so I'm going to do one today because I have a few paintings that I have to get started. And then I'm going to be going through my old paintings, throwing some of them out, and restretching a few of them. So I think today will be fun. And then I'm also going to bug my friend Caitlin, who is at work, who happens to work at the school, which is amazing. And then I have an essay that I would like to get started, just doing like the outline. So I just thought that I would kind of film what I'm doing today. And if it's like entertaining or you guys like this, maybe I'll do this a little bit more. So yeah, right now I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup because I like to do makeup. I like to do makeup while I am going to paint in because frankly, I look like a hot mess because I always wear like my super big like jogging pants that have paint like covered in them or I'll wear my painting tights that have paint on them. I don't know if you could. Then my painting shirt and these are my painting pants. These ones are actually my cleanest pants because they have the least amount of paint on them. But I just had to wear them today since they're not like worn out because I had to throw out a lot of my pants. So yeah, I like to do my makeup just to make me look a little bit more alive, a little bit more put together. And then I usually top off my look with a hat because I like my hat. And it also eliminates doing my hair. But I did makeup on my forehead today, which if I'm wearing a hat, I don't normally do. So yeah. Today is not a hat day, unless I wear my winter hat, because it's cold outside and it's raining. So, we'll see. And then also, this is my favorite paint sweater. And my brother got this for me when I was in high school, when he first started going to Brock University. And I love it. Even though I was paint all over it, it's my favorite sweater. And I wear it, like, probably a little too much. I wear it, like, a little too much. And then my next favorite sweater is my Roots sweater that I just got. So... Yeah, so I'm just going to pack my bag and then get some lunch slash breakfast and then head over to Maryland Night Walker and start painting and get this day going finally. Yeah, I forgot that I had to do dishes, which I am not a fan of doing. So I will be doing that first and I don't know how much detail to put in these vlogs. And so this first one will probably be a little bit of a doozy because I really don't know what I'm doing even though I watch vlogs on like a daily basis. It's like, I never done one myself, so if I'm doing this wrong, I am so sorry in advance. I'm vlogging today. You're what? I'm vlogging. You're vlogging? I'm vlogging. You're vlogging? Vlogging. Hi, I'm Caitlin. This is Caitlin. This is my Star Wars shirt. Hey, I'm zoom in. She's cute, isn't she? <laughs> Caitlin works. This is where I work. Early in the vlog, I said I was going to be bugging you. Wait, I need like a rest. Did you say, I didn't answer your text message. I just kidding. Oh. Oh, perfect. Is that okay if that's in the vlog? Yeah, that's okay. okay. My hand is shaking, so I'm resting it on a pull because I have shaky hands. Oh I don't know how to do this, so I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to bug Kayla for a bit, then I'm going to start painting. Toodles! My locker, and I don't know if I have enough black paint to cover two freaking large canvases. So hopefully I do, and if not, I'm going to have to problem solve and get it covered somehow. And maybe just do like a black spill over everything. Let's see. Okay. I definitely don't have enough black paint to cover. Oh no. Then this is the first problem of the day.
So I just got back from painting. It actually didn't take me that long to um, black out the canvas and add in some like contrasting colors in it. Although you probably can't be like you won't be able to tell in the painting, especially in pictures, unless you actually see the painting in person and go up close to it to see the colors and like all the details. But I thought it turned out really well so far. And like it, this is just the first layer. Of course, I'm going to be going back and painting more. But these are going to be my two large like kind of like blackout paintings because I have a lot of color and galactic themes going on in my work right now especially for this last semester so I thought it'd be nice to have some contrasting work that's like just like really dark and like heavy and just kind of grounds it and not make it like look so chaotic because right now that's how I paint and yeah I'm really happy with how it went and for the rest of the day I'm just going to be working on the essay for my American avant-garde class which is actually really interesting I really like that class so yeah but with the painting I had no acrylic in black like available because I already used it all up at, at uh, my studio at Ramen Hall and so at the Mary and I Walker oh, I have my my toolbox full of paints and I had zero black because I used it all up so I had to use oil because I had it in black plus with oil paint it actually goes like a lot farther so I probably used like I don't know like a few tablespoons of it like if I were to measure it out and it covered the whole canvas which is amazing and so I diluted it a lot with the uh, mineral spirits but then I also got like a lot of black paint on me I don't know if you could tell yeah my nails look disgusting too because I got it all over me and I also got it on my face too but I was able to like just kind of go like that and get it off so I thought it was a good day I thought so far it has been productive so I have to keep going with that productivity again don't mind my bed it's not made but look who's awake right now it's a little cookie monster hello cookie cookie monster he's a sweet sweet boy but he does like his cat more than anything else, which this is what he cuddles with. And if I take it away from him, he gets really mad at me. Ain't that right, mister? Yes, it is. My hamster's playpen. So he really likes to play in here and he likes to kick everything out of this pool for some reason, which I'm not really sure why. But yeah, this is his playpen. And then he has a large cage. And then this part, I just cut a hole in it and then I made the tubes come down here. So he has a lot of room to play in. So he's very, very spoiled, but he's a good boy and I'm going to do some laundry while he is playing. So I'm gonna start working on my essay. So this is kind of what like it's about. So it's like a seminar presentation. So I'll just read the little description of what I have to do and then my question. So you are asked to present a 15 to 20 minute discussion on one of the topics below. Well, these questions are preliminary in nature. It is your challenge to further define and elaborate on them. All right, makes sense. Because this course attempts to survey the American avant-garde between 1913 and 1970, it is important for you to recognize the chronological constraints as well as theoretical factors that define modernism, or modernism, Ugh. can't say that word, the period under the study. You may opt to work with a classmate on a shared presentation, which I am not doing, I'm sorry, but I like to work alone. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Unless there's Caitlin in the class, then it's like, I'm working alone. So yeah, so that's kind of like the main idea. So 15, 20 minutes, not bad. And my question is, okay. So Kenneth Nolan and Morris Lewis appealed to Clement Greenberg's formalist ethos. Discuss the idea of the of Greenberg's formalist ethos. Discuss the idea of the object canvas, the elimination of gestural brushstrokes, and the idea of flatness. The central tenet of Greenbergian aesthetics in Nolan and Lewis. So that is my question. So I know Kenneth Lewis, or so, oh my gosh, Kenneth Nolan. So I'm actually familiar with that artist, so he does a lot of flat work. So what flat work is, is basically paintings that don't like have any definition of brushstrokes or anything. So if you look at my work, like you could tell it's a painting, but if you look at their work, it's kind of like this painting that I actually have here. This is by Murray Cromp, 
who is a professor at the Marinette Walker. And so this is a really, really flat painting, um, but it has like a lot of nice colors. So yeah, but there you could kind of feel the texture of like where the paint was and you peeled it. So this would be considered a flat painting though, because like it looks flat, like, and I shouldn't be touching it. And if he sees this video, I'm very sorry. But I really like this painting. I don't know why I really, really did. So I got it. And yeah. So that's kind of, uh, get on there. So that's the topic that I'm talking about for my presentation. And yeah, so I'll start get started on my essay that is, I think it's like 2,500 words or something like that. Not too bad. Like that's pretty, that's pretty reasonable. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. So it's a few hours later. Actually, it's more than a few hours. It's a long time later because when I started my essay, I sort of just wrote plan and then I watched Netflix for too long. But I, on my laptop, I now have like a full page done of preliminary research for it. So I have it started. I have it going. I was just really, really lazy and yeah. So that's that's where I'm going to leave off because of like all I'm doing for the rest of the night is working on this essay, just answering the question and coming up with a plan to on how to like write and structure it because I find that helps me. So that is where I'm going to leave off this vlog. So let me know if you like it or not. And if not, that's okay because this is my first try. So if it's not that great, I apologize. And if it's not really coherent or doesn't make sense, again, I apologize for that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to continue working on this. I probably have some dinner and then go to bed. And then that's it. So yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Before I go, I got my intro done and I got my plan all done. And so I'm feeling good now. I don't feel so lazy anymore, even though I am. So yeah, okay, now it's goodbye.